kind of make you want to question yourself like should I pay for this or should I just went ahead and get the whole the ticket for just the ride hmm. What's good? It's the Duma Chefs family. We're back again to talk to all our heavy fam, heavy entrepreneurs, gang gang, heavy squads, heavy millennials. No, I'm playing. I'm playing, y'all. It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. But y'all know what it is. We a family. <laughs> you know that gang gang, uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. So, today, guys, we are going to do the review of the Creole Queen. So, if you have not watched my birthday vlog, you need to go and see. I'm gonna need you to stop this on video, another video and go ahead on and go watch that video. You know, you might actually like it. You might actually wanna, you know, take your wife or take your significant other down to New Orleans and get on the cruise. You know. So we're going to jump, we're going to jump right into the video, you guys, and give you guys a review. So first, let's talk about the location. Okay. So to get on the, the cruise, you need to meet the cruise at Poydras and the Riverbank. So a few landmarks for you to look for when you go to the Riverbank, you will need to look for... Drago Seafood Drago's. Restaurant, which is by the Hilton Hotel, mm -hmm. and then you will need to look for the Riverwalk Collection. And if you're coming from the Hilton side, you need to walk up the little stairway, and then you need to make a right and go straight down. And as you walk down and see all the little stores and all the little whatever that's on that side, you need to. What else? You'll see the boats. You see a big old boat. You can't miss it, trust me. Yeah. So let's talk about the tickets. So of course you guys, we the Duma Chef family. <laughs> and we get our tickets off of Groupon. So if you ever, ever want to get some good tickets, get off of Groupon, get a nice little discount. Alright, so we got our tickets and we went in line for a good about five five minutes. We took pictures, which came out fabulous, and then we was also directed to go to the ticket booth because our tickets did not come out. I'm sorry. You, you're right. I'm good. I'm in it to win it. Come on, let's finish. All right. So we were sent over to the ticket booth to go get our tickets because we got off a Groupon, which they had to print out for us. Now, the people on the ticket booth and the attendants at the ticket line, it was both cool. They, you know, there was very smooth set and everything, short conversation, gives our tickets, grab and go. And then we finally headed our way up to the boat. Wait. So, you can, I'm sorry. That's fine. We just gotta get the content in. Let's get it. Okay, so, whether you purchase your tickets online on the Creole Queen website, or if you post, I mean, purchase your ticket on Groupon, you need to call and you need to make that reservation. You can't just say, hey, I purchased my ticket, I'm getting on this boat. No, it ain't going down like that. Mm -hmm. You have to call and make a reservation because they do sell out probably every night. I'm not sure, don't, don't quote me on that. But the but, boat was packed, so I'm pretty sure they, they sell out every night. Yeah, so you need to make sure that you call in and make your reservation. So check it out, yo. Whenever we got on the boat, it was raining, and we decided not to bring our umbrella, which we was gonna do. We just but forgot. We just forgot. But we got on the boat, and we finally got a chance to sit down on the jazz floor, or the. I, it, I, was right, it was at the, the top. It was at the top of it, right? The jazz band, right next to the jazz band. We played some great music the whole night. We we'll talk about that next. And we didn't realize that below us was the food, which had three. I think they had three stations of where the food was located. So me and Sierra sat down for a minute and we just talked maybe a little more about ourselves. And before you know it, they had a whole group of people filling up on the jazz floor. Reason is, I guess they wanted to listen to the music, y'all. 
So this Serrano is really, really real tight. I had a big party that came sit on side of us. They made their own little row. And afterwards, me and C was like, all right, little bit. Either we go eat our food now or we can chill. So we decided to get up, let the people who sit behind us get the table. And they were so generous with it. Just like, God bless y'all. Thank y'all for getting us the table. And we just got up and we left. Yeah, I mean, the atmosphere of the cruise yeah. is just so mellow. It's dirty. It's about everything. I mean, the vibe is just so top notch. Mm. Now, let me tell y'all, look at this. Look at God. We gonna go sit down on the table, right? We're sitting right next to the table, and on the side of us was downstairs to the kitchen. On the boat, um, there's three ballrooms for you to choose where you decide where you want to eat. Kings, queens, and we don't know the name of the other. Uh, that's when we was at though. No, we was in the king, I think. Yeah, we was in the kings. Yeah. So, um, one thing I didn't understand. So, Groupon and the website gives you a choice whether you want to just get on a cruise or you want to purchase dinner so we purchased our dinner you know it's my birthday but when we got there it kind of makes you want to question yourself like should i pay for this or should i just go ahead and get the whole the ticket for just the ride you see, because the difference between the two, one side you get the whole package, the other side you just get the view. Hmm. But, but when we went down there to seat ourselves, you know, nobody asked us for our tickets. Nobody. So that makes you wonder, should I just purchase a regular ticket and just go down and eat? Or should I just purchase the other ticket and just ride my two hours? Because hmm. from what we understand, the tickets from itself says that either you purchase this ticket and you get the whole buffet. Uh -huh. The other ticket says that you purchase this ticket and you get the cruise ride. So I'm thinking they should have somebody, you know, in place to check tickets. That's fair. That's all right. Right? Okay. So, um, what we were saying at first, we go down, we went down to the um to go eat. They gave us our own selection. So, what do you think about before we get into that? Let, let us tell y'all the type of food that we had in our room. We're not sure. If it was the same food in, in each room, but in our room, this is the type of food you can look forward to. Which is very delicious. So, we had Caesar salad, cornbread, bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to say Look, right y'all, let me tell y'all. Y'all know we parents, right? So, they have this cartoon called a rainy case of meatballs. Uh, a rainy, uh, a, a, rainy a chance of meatball. Rainy chance of meatball. And, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, and every animal, like a fly or everything, is food. Like butter was a food. A frog. Or butter was a frog. And yeah. every time he would catch a fly, he would say butter. butter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I get that from. Anyways. They had gumbo, but y'all know I was not eating nobody's gumbo unless it was my grandmother's. I don't care when New Orleans or not, boo. Um, they had jambalaya. I didn't even get to taste the jambalaya. I had it. it. It was okay. They had pasta. I love the pasta. Pasta's on point. And I don't know the proper name of this one, but I love it so much. Corn mac chow. It sounds good. Corn mac chow. <laughs> They had baked chicken, they had brisket, they had red beans and rice, which Dion tore up. Huh. And they had bread pudding, which we didn't get a chance to eat, but it looked good. Crazy thing about the bread pudding that we seen it. But I guess whenever we went back for seconds, we didn't we see it. Full. <laughs> we, we were full. We walked around and walked straight around and went back to our place. We were full. Okay, so what you think about the drinks, babe? Oh, the drinks was refreshing. I mean, I could drink that all day. Yeah, it's good for you. You're supposed to drink it all day. I sure can. <laughs> yeah, 
y'all. Tell them about the waiter, though. Okay, so at all of the tables, they already have water for you. So the waiter came and he was like, okay, he was telling us about where the restrooms were, about the cash bar, about, you know, different things on the boat. And then he told us, um, I'll be back, y'all. Uh, y'all look at the drinks and I'm going to be back. I can fix you whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know us, you know, being courteous. Thank you so much. He came back. He was like, so did y'all choose y'all drinks? And we we're like, we're sorry. We're not drink drinkers. He said, <laughs> he said, ah, well, is this enough water? <laughs> so, y'all, like, all we had was water. We, we, we didn't have a problem about that. No problem at all. I mean, we had water. But I can tell you guys, man, the service in there with the waiters and all, they on point. Them boys was on point with it, man. Listen, the moment that we got done from eating, they rushed our table, asked us if we were done. Took our place, cleaned up our floors, and they little son on about our way. There's like really on point about it. So make sure that y'all tip people like that, man, who was real generous and, you know, and they care about their service. Their service, yeah. And so even though he didn't serve us, we still tip yeah so um and another thing is when you are they look at you like they're although it's a boat cruise and it's a buffet they watch you like and i don't mean that type a, stuff yeah i don't mean that in a bad thing a bad way like dion was almost done with his plate and like he had just sat back you know waiting on me to finish my first plate so we can go and get seconds and the waiter came and he was like do you need me to take that sir and like he took his plate like you know it's a buffet at a buffet you're supposed to get up and go put your own plate up exactly. but like they were just on guard they were excellent service excellent so after we get done from eating we sat back a little bit you guys really have to go back and watch the other video to keep up with this conversation because we're talking in the same order that we experienced so after we got up and we got done from eating we went back up to the jazz floor Played the instruments, they beat on the drums, they sang for two hours strong, and I mean, they didn't miss a beat. Yeah. And it was also interacting with the audience. So imagine that you up there on the jazz floor, you sitting down and you being interacted with, with the jazz members and everything. And you know, it was just the love that they was also showing as they was, you know, giving love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a jazz dinner cruise. And they made it a jazz dinner cruise. Even when the food were put up at 8.15, I think. Yeah, whenever they start saving all the dishes, yeah. Yeah, because the food is only out for about an hour. So, they played the entire night. Yeah. So, I took Sierra back upstairs. Uh, and we, we sat up there and we just really enjoyed the music. And everything. The way you say that, I took Sierra I know, back I know, upstairs. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. It came out like it came out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the, the What's the core? The curtains, the lights, and if you the see the video, the decorations. the decorations. So if you go back and you watch that vlog, ask Dion why he just kept stopping the camera on the light and on the curtains every time. I had a vision and I wanted to try to get the editing to come out that way, but you know, because of it the timing, because of all the timing, Excuse me, because of the timing and everything, we was not able to really, you know, put it the way I've seen it. It was good though. It was but it good. did come out pretty, pretty good. It came out really good. So by me just putting the camera on there and then everybody else, whoever does this, you can always look at it and then do like your little certain type of editing that you want to do with it. But I was giving it away. But I think Dion was just fascinated with the 1800s decorations. The 1800s decorations? Yeah, it, it made you go back into. Y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know the Titanic is one of my favorite movies. Lord. Like, yeah. I felt like I was in. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know we was at the front of the boat. Yeah. But thank God we had a, a good ending. Y'all, they had one rescue boat. Come on. One rescue boat. Mind you, I can't swim. If I fall, and then another person fall, and then another person fall. But we're gonna speak life. We're gonna speak life. Let's just put I'll that out. I'll find that in the name of Jesus. Huh? <laughs>
<laughs> Preach. They, they like it. Let's talk about the pictures. Okay, so this is what I want y'all to know. I understand that you paid for your dinner cruise. I understand that they made everybody get in line to take a picture. The baby. The picture not free. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a tourism city. Okay. You gotta pay. Okay. But the pictures wasn't that much. And this is what they do. Like the, the picture, the photographers, they'll come find you to give you your pictures. And what they do is they already have all of the pictures printed out. So when you look at that picture, that's excellent marketing. When you look at that picture, you ain't gonna, you're not gonna tell them no. You're gonna say, yes, I'm buying this. Yeah, it was definitely. So yeah, the pictures came out really, really nice. It wasn't that expensive. Um, I believe we paid around $25 for our picture. We got the souvenir. Um, you know the photo frame. It's a here. really big picture too. You got three packages you can choose from, but the one we chose from was like it was a really big picture. Nice yeah. put on the uh, wall or put on the on a shelf or anything like that. It's a very good size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's crazy though, cause he actually can't find us. Mm -hmm. Like he just came out the blue and said, "Hey." But you guys want to buy your picture? Say, our picture, what picture we took? Now, mind you, it's late, it's yeah. around closing time. We probably got like about 45, 30 minutes left on the boat. And we sitting just enjoying ourselves. And it's dark and it's moon shining. The water, the stars glistening off the water. And he just came out the blue and said, hey, you want to buy your picture? Got mm -hmm. three packages. He does, he did have the card reader. So you can purchase your picture. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about bringing cash or cash yeah. credit. It's either way. Um, we, we kind of told y'all about the check-in earlier, but right. you can say the last part. What's the last part? The leaving? Okay. Yeah, so the check-in was easy. Uh, this was some photo, y'all. Um, mind you, if you ever going on a boat cruise, be, uh, you know, aware of what you're putting in your, in your bag, your purses. Yeah. Um, because they will check every single thing to the T. I mean, they will open up your bag, pull it out on the floor. They will look at everything I'm playing. They ain't gonna do all that. They just gonna really open it up, take a real good eye, just make sure you don't have anything to come on the boat that harm anybody, I guess. You yeah, say. so if you, I know you may be walking around New Orleans, and I know my city may have like a little bad reputation for, you know, things. Don't have your little pocket knife on you. Go back to the car. Put it in there and then come back. Okay, don't have nothing on it. Right. They gonna take it in. But the thing is, though, also, you guys, whenever you're leaving, if you want to get off the boat on time, if you got somewhere to be, sit by the exit. There's only one exit. There ain't two. There ain't three. Cause there's a lot of people on that boat that want to get off just like you want to get off. And me and Sarah was on the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> we was, on the we was at the floor. bottom. All the way at the bottom. We wasn't at the top. So um a thing that they can do that better is, you know, just have the people get off by levels. At Which least, is pretty cool. You know? Yeah, but you gotta think about it too, they have one entrance. Like yeah. I don't think they'll be able to do the three different levels. Water probably. Um what? Because of the water. Yeah. Like the third, like you can literally touch the water at the bottom of the boat. Like and there's like nothing they can do about that because the boat is already made. Right. So, <laughs> so. I mean, another thing is you can. I don't think there's much of an option with that one. Just sit by the exit. Sit by the exit <laughs> if you want to get off. All you want to be last and just enjoy the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. Not relax. really because the man going to keep coming on the intercom telling you the that the boat was closed. Yeah. <laughs> so, sit by the exit. And so, that is our review. How would we rate the Creole Queen? I loved it. I would rate it a boom, boom, power 10. Boom, boom, boom. I would rate it a 10, man, because everything about it was perfect. You know, just to have my lady Sierra on the boat for her birthday for the first time. Our experience was for the first time was perfect. And I think if anyone who ever want to take their lady or your girl want to take your man somewhere for their birthday or anniversary or anything like that, I recommend taking them there. I do recommend taking them there. It was romantic. It was peaceful. It's just two and a half hours. Yeah, by yourself. 
And another tip I would give, you know, if we didn't have to get footage or anything, and if we didn't want pictures, because remember, your pictures are already taken when you get on the boat. I would even say, leave your phone. Like, if it's a much needed getaway, leave your phone in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Two and a half hours of just y'all, those two and a half hours, it was just, it was needed. As y'all can see, I did my job. Yeah, I had I did good. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. You know we're going to show you so much love right back. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Like, that's important, y'all. We, we see the views. We see the watch time. We we got that. But we, we need y'all to subscribe. Yes, Hit that yes. subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so y'all can see when other videos are popping up. We coming with the content. It's going to get heavy. It's going to get so, heavy. Just go ahead and stick with us. We you know our our quality, you know, the lighting may be a little dim on some videos. We know we know, we working on it, okay? Go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to share, y'all. We love y'all so much. We really, really do. We we really do because we know that we are impacting lives in a positive way. And we're, you know, giving y'all a little extension of ourselves. So I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired too. These nice shoes be kicking us, kicking us. All right, fam, so we out here. We catch y'all later on the flip side. Y'all keep it heavy. Y'all keep it heavy. Keep it heavy.